2000, just, just shout them out, y'all. Did Mook surprise me? No. Mook nice. Do I feel like Mook is like our generation nice? Not necessarily, but he don't gotta be. He's murder Mook. That's like asking if Loaded Lux is our generation nice. I don't feel like he do as much of us though. Like I don't like like I don't as much as us part me. I don't feel like he put in the work like he like he don't battle as consistent or as consecutively as me. He don't he don't build new shit. He didn't bring the two on two to url he didn't bring caffeine to url he didn't bring none of this like you know what i'm saying so it's like you can't really say he's responsible for certain shit going on or everybody getting big checks and this and that that nigga didn't bring everything or put in the groundwork for every like he put in the groundwork part of me but he didn't like you know what i'm saying all them years that he missed or he was out doing other shit it was niggas taking care of business you know what I'm saying? It was niggas. It was niggas helping this shit grow, and, and Rock was one of them niggas completely. You know what I'm saying? Tay Rock, other than myself, I'm not even talking about myself right now, but Tay Rock was one of them niggas. Like it's certain niggas that really put in the groundwork for this shit. K. Sean, shouts to K. Sean. He was one of them niggas that really put in the groundwork for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like them niggas really was was helping this shit grow. They stayed consistent every single year. You know what I'm saying? They was in. They was a part of something. They could, they could, they could, like, how could I explain it? They have battled niggas from their generation, my generation. Like, they was in the mix. It was so mixy for them that you can't really call them a, 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 a legend. You would just call them top tier. Well, really, them niggas is legends also. You know what I mean? You feel me? But they just so young and so fresh in the game that they're still just like us. You know what I'm saying? They're young niggas, my nigga. They, they. They just grown in veterans, you know what I mean? But them niggas is definitely legends. HIV-1 or other medical conditions in all medicines you take. Don't take Maverick with Anazanivir or Rifampin, or if you've had certain liver problems. If you've had or have serious liver problems other than Hep-C, there's a Like, niggas that think I'd be saying, like, murder mook ain't murder mook. Like, certain niggas, like, hollow the dawn. Like, nigga, them niggas help this shit be what it is today. Them niggas is definitely on their own Mount Rushmore, this and that. But it's certain things, bro. Like, like when we did two and twos, when me and Steam was battle K Sean and DNA in the first two and two on URL, that was unheard of in the URL. You know what I'm saying? So when everybody came back to double impact and did a two and two, you gotta think about it, my nigga. That's everybody feeding off what we did or what we made hot or what we like. You feel me? You can't just come back and tell me. Oh, thank you for this or thank you for that And then you don't thank us for the shit that we brought to your attention Or the new checks that you got Or this and that Cause I wouldn't have got no double impact checks No this and that checks If it wasn't for us or what we did Or us coming doing a prop or, or, or spinning off of our brother Or this and that You know what I'm saying When old niggas did was criticized at first anyway Look at these niggas I would never do that shit Till some money got involved And niggas did that shit You know what I'm saying So it's like Niggas gotta really think first, my nigga, like, the same way niggas be quick to say, yo, humble yourself, Chess, you a young nigga, you gotta, you gotta pay homage, like, it's so much shit that I did, how much niggas pay homage to a young nigga like me, why, because I'm young and niggas don't wanna give me the credit for it, or is it because niggas don't really notice, and I, and I can respect that too, cause you know, I'm not a nigga that just throw my name on shit, oh yeah, I did this, I did this, I did that, I did that, but this is just what it is, my nigga. You feel me? A lot of this shit we're responsible for. Like, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm correct, me and John John was the first battle on caffeine. The first battle they started promoting the URL app with was me and Geechee Gotti. Like, all of these shit, they didn't promote the, the URL app with a murder moot battle or hollow the dawn battle or Charlie. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, it wasn't them that really got this shit off the ground. Like, like that's just real shit. So when I say certain shit like it's like niggas are, oh yeah you supposed to say this and that how much am I really paying you homage for for doing something that you did before me it's like okay thanks like I appreciate that and like I appreciate the the levels you took it to 
the eyes you put on this shit to help like niggas see me like but niggas got it, it the tables turn my nigga that's all I'm trying to say the tables turn at the end of the day you know what I mean I don't like sounding like I'm talking shit or I'm trying to call a nigga out but real shit if we get into that topic nigga the tables turn Shit, Nah, real. Like, niggas don't be understanding that, my nigga. Like, like, even when niggas look at me yelling in this shit, arguing with niggas on, 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 on fucking, on, on face or so or, or shit like that. Like, nigga, all that shit is just, is frustration, bro. I be frustrated from this shit. Well, niggas wanna talk about this, wanna talk about that. I don't wanna talk about this shit. I wanna rap and I wanna get money. You know, like, fucking my heart, like, I got grown men, I don't really beef with y'all niggas, I don't know y'all niggas, I don't, I mean, we could talk about who's better, who nicer, this and that, but, nigga, the, the conversation gotta stay that, like, and I don't mean as far as, like, conversations lead to street shit all day, but it's just niggas' politics be weird, like, it'll be like, for instance, like, I'll give y'all an example, right, all my core fans that know me know I've slipped up in plenty of battles, shit like that. Niggas will call me out for like slipping up. But how many rappers slip up that they'll call out or that they'll put it in a trailer? Yo, can this rapper come back from such and such? Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't do that to niggas that, like, none of the greats when they choke in a battle other than me. And y'all really can think about that shit. You throw a nigga in a trailer, you throw a nigga in this and that, and he say, Yo, can Chess come back from such and such? You don't put none of the greats, none of the other greats in that shit and say that. Mm-hmm. Y'all just make them niggas look great again. That's what niggas is good at. So my problem is never with the fans calling me out or this and that. It's just like, it's all about how you how you market someone and how you, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, if the media is making y'all believe that I've been slipping up or I've been fucking up this whole time, that shit don't make sense to me because I went on a two-year run clean. You feel me? You gotta think about it. Nigga, I battled Glue Easy in 2018. That was an okay battle. It wasn't my best battle, but it was a good battle. You know what I'm saying? From there, I battled Shotgun Shrug in UW. Great battle. You know what I'm saying? New Jersey Twerk. Great battle. That's the end of 2018. From there, I battled Geechee Gotti in 2019. That's a great battle. Jerry West. Great battle. Who else after that? What? Bad News. Great battle. The 2 and 2 with Tay Rock against um, Loaded Lux and Hollow the Dawn. Great battle. O'Red, great battle. Danny Myers, great battle. Tory Doe, great battle. You feel me? You get to be magic. I run out of gas with be magic. Okay, cool. But we get to we get to the the, the K Shine situation again in this year. Chess always does this and he he slips up too much and he the guy just went on a two year run straight and y'all gonna c- compare me slipping up from this battle to what happened years ago, which I was talking about. And then really make it seem like I did this shit for two years straight. That I just went on a two years clean run and forget about all the work I just put in. Like that's what I get confused with. I'm cool with nigga calling me out on what I did. Like yeah, I fucked up in the battle. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But when you take away, like you can't take away what a nigga did before that. That's just real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be like, nah, they only gonna judge you off your last. So why aren't you judging me off my last great battle? Why are you only judging me off my last flow? Like that shit don't make sense. And I believe it's because niggas don't want me as high as they as they know I can be. You know, because it's scary for everybody, nigga. I'm only 21 years old. Think about me getting murder, murder mook numbers right now. What are they gonna pay me when I'm 25, 30? 200k you <laughs> feel me 500k like you gotta think about it nigga they, you gotta niggas gotta let you how could i explain it you're gonna grow you feel me but niggas don't want you to overgrow you feel me you have to just it's all about the process my nigga niggas don't want you to like how could i explain it i don't want to seem like niggas is trying to niggas is trying to chain me or like fucking trap me and no shit like that but what I mean is just like, it'll be scary, bro. It'll be scary to let me know everything I can know right now. You know what I mean? I was just a young nigga in this shit, 14, 15, and I had some good niggas behind me, Smack Beasley, all these niggas teaching me a lot of shit. Just a bunch of politics. You know me? The politics held me back from being as great as I can be because I always felt like if I didn't claim 
I was the greatest. Niggas would just look at me as the greatest. But if I claim I'm the greatest, niggas are fighting me for why I think that. Like, that shit don't make no sense. Like, if I know how great I am, you feel me? Niggas shouldn't want to tell me why I'm not. And I know it's always going to be haters, and that's not what I mean. But I'm talking about in the, in the sense of, how can I explain it? When you dealing with a business, right, there's always going to be the next level. And if you get to them levels too fast, what does that leave them? You know what I mean? It's so easy to walk away. Like, if I would have had everything I needed from them since the beginning, I wouldn't need anything from them right now. You know what I mean? So, all of this shit is just a process. Everybody else had their process. When I battled T-Top and on BT, he was much older than me to where I don't know why I lost. I don't know why he won that tournament or whatever. But it was his time in real life and whatever. It was his time to shine. It was his time to be that nigga. I was 14, 15 years old. I had a long way to go. It's my time now. You know what I'm saying? I'm just about to be 22. You feel me? So I'm just going through the process of my... And all y'all niggas is doing is watching. You feel me? Y'all watching me age. Y'all gonna see my flows. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else wanna call me on my flows and act like I'm not willing to accept that. I'm always willing to accept my flows. You know, point blank period, nigga. That's all I'm saying. You cannot tell me I did wrong and then tell me I didn't do great. You feel me? You have to call out both. You have to call out a nigga greatnesses as well as his flows. You feel me? If I work for seven weeks and get fired, I still get paid for them seven days I work. 